Welcome back to the Showbiz Insider, your entertainment news roundup. So in our fashion features, we're going to focus on the biggest industry celebration of last year, which was, of course, Fashion Forward. Now, you might remember that they build this not as a fashion week, but as a fashion movement, where our best regional designers were introduced to the world. These are the top catwalk collections of 2013. Tipped as the definitive platform for the Middle East style scene, Fashion Forward took the Madinat Jumeirah by storm with a host of catwalk shows from the region's leading designers. So Bong, tell me about the concept of Fashion Forward, because it's not a fashion week, right? It's a fashion movement. It is. I mean, uh, you said it. It's a movement really to take our fashion industry to a higher level. Uh, we're very lucky to have the best of the designers from the region. I think it's very important to have the right product on the podium. We're also being very honest to ourselves and saying that we have a lot to learn. Local favorite Aisha Dipala launched her latest collection of Preta Porta, couture and bridal designs offering a fresh sensibility to Indian and Gulf fashion. Pastel coloured gowns and dresses boasted astute tailoring and oozed feminine elegance. So Aisha, congratulations, beautiful collection, so feminine, so elegant. Tell me, what are your main influences? Is it your heritage? Is it Dubai lifestyle? I think it's a combination of my heritage, so sometimes at least in the evening where you'll see like a hint of ethnicity that creeps in. So it's always there, but it's for the modern woman and, and, I, and I hope that it breaks cultural barriers. So it's not for only an Indian woman or, or an Arabic woman. Uh, we hope to be able to dress people from around the globe, but it just has a very subtle underlying um, Indian influence, I think, in the clothing. Absolutely. And who is the Aish Dipala woman? Who wears your clothes? I think she's someone who is um, possibly a working woman, a woman who enjoys fashion. She likes to have a little bit of fun with it, but I think she's a uh, party girl at night. I think that's, that's the kind of Aisha Dipala woman. One of the pioneers of the Emirates fashion scene is three-time Grazia Designer of the Year, Issa. Formerly recognized for fusing tradition with modern, his style has evolved with a collection of edgy, explorative designs brain that has compartments in it and these compartments kind of work at different times they open up and I find things in these compartments so when I was young we had a record player from a company called HMV and you know they had the gramophone so I love the shape of the gramophone so I translated that onto the dress um, I loved bad guys in movies in the 70s so I love the big lapels and I kind of you know I like sexy things the top catwalk collections were theatrical works of art. Michael Cinco stunned with his breathtaking couture gowns, but it was Fern One's a matto show of extravagant and artistic designs, which really had the fash pack enthralled. Fern has the unique ability to transcend everyday trends into classic works of art. From ethereal bridal wear to playful pret a porte a matter collection celebrates an expressive, quirky muse and are adored by international celebrities. Where do these ideas come from? What was the inspiration for this one? Uh, Tim Burton's movie, The Circus of Good and Evil. And tell me about the designs. What is your signature style? Or would you say, how is it evolving over your different collections? It's very avant-garde, I think. And very uh, modern at the same time. I would totally agree. Now, I know you've got a huge celebrity clientele. I know you've worked very closely with Katy Perry. What was that experience like? Of course, it's like a dream come true. Working with her is like um, a dream because I love her. For flirtatious femme fatale, Zion, the co-founder of Hip Boutique Source, favoured contemporary fun designs with innovative silhouettes and of course those unexpected design twists. Manila-born designer Ezra takes inspiration from the couture dresses of the 40s and 50s and the French haute couture collections from Dior and Lacroix. 
His works of art are dreamy, extravagant, and elegant, and discerning clientele have embraced his style mantra across the globe. So one of the highlights of Fashion Forward is the collection from Ezra, and it's such a privilege to be here with you. Now, Ezra, that collection was just exquisite. It was dreamy. How Thank would you, you describe Thank it? You. Thank you. Well, the inspiration came from the Art Deco glamour of the 1920s. So it's a golden era where everything was being invented, even medicine, cosmetics. So in that era, everything was being invented. So even the fashion was being invented. So it's, uh, that's where we took up our inspiration, is uh, making a modern touch of the 1920s era. And tell me a little bit about the graphics, because it was a huge performance. I mean, the dresses speak for themselves, but also the set design. Yes, uh, it's a kind of paranormal, because as I told you, it was kind of more industrial, because as I told you, it was like everything was being invented at that time. Taking innovative luxury menswear to the next level, the Uber Dapper Gold Car Brothers are back in town with their latest collection for the Emperor 1688. The label prides itself on using the finest fabrics from prestigious European mills. From traditional herringbone to crisp contemporary pinstripes. And ladies, listen up, the most exciting element for us is their new line for women. Now, I don't know, this collection for me sort of took me back to the golden age of the 30s. It was like an Italian summer, Capri, Positano. What exactly were your thoughts when you were creating it? Well, we wanted to bring a lightness to our collection. I mean, you know, we, we wanted to do it. Our inspirations were from the 1930s. So we were looking at aristocratic families and aristocratic uh, manners in England. And we based it on loosely around the book Brideshead Revisited. So we really wanted this collection to have a sense of memory to the people who are wearing it and the people who are seeing our collection. So it was really important, the music, the styling. So when people looked at it, it was as if they were looking at their own memories, as if they were looking at their own family histories from the 1930s. And all the boater hats, all the accessories. Now I have to say there's a lot more women's wear in the collection this, uh, sure. this time around. Uh, how are you doing with that? Is that something you want to move forward into? Yeah, I mean, it's something definitely in the pipeline. Hopefully it will be released in, within the next season. But uh, we're working on it, but right now with menswear, we're pretty busy with that. I'm in <laughs> so love with the season. sun. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. But that is actually real flowers. Yeah. That's fresh flowers. Yeah. And we made it this morning, so... And it was sprayed on every half an yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the poor model's been standing there. We were spraying water all over, but that's all fresh flowers. Alongside the runway presentations, there was also the garden of hip boutique accessories and panel discussions supporting Fashion Forward's vision to nurture the growth of the regional fashion industry. Dubai's fashion elite were entertained and inspired. It's certainly a new date on the International Fashion Easter's calendar and it's set to bring us a new industry celebration in April this year. So that was your annual fashion fix and our uber talented regional designers. Coming up after the break guys, we have mega music stars in Dubai plus the best in our local band slamming talent.